In this video, I'm continuing from a previous video where I talked about string compare, and today we're going to be talking about string find and contains. So maybe when I'm asking for a user input and I'm asking if they like coffee, yes or no, I just want to know if they're saying yes or they're saying no. So I'm okay with them having any kind of text as long as it contains yes and as long as it contains no. Well, the good news is there's a function called contains. So the contains function just looks to see if there's a piece of text within my text that I'm testing. And it still results in the same true or false one or zero. One of the downfalls with contains is it is case sensitive, but there is a workaround for that. And I will be talking about in another video about other string functions. So unlike the string compare functions with the contains function, the order does matter. Your first input argument is going to be the string that you're looking within. Your second input argument is going to be the string that you're looking for. You might already be thinking a step ahead and thinking, well, sometimes I want to look for a set of text within a larger text, but I want to know exactly where that occurs. I don't want to just know if it's there or not. So that case, you don't want contains, you want string find. String find is going to tell you the actual placement of where your set of text is occurring. So it's not a logical true or false, it's here's where that text is occurring in the larger set of text that you're testing first. So you'll notice the output for string find is going to be the first character of the text that you're looking for and everywhere that first character is for the beginning of that string you're looking for within the original string. And you will notice that string find is also case sensitive. And yes, the order matters for string find just like it does for contains. And again, since this isn't a true or false logical, and it's actually giving you the placement of where these words are occurring, it's going to give you an empty brackets anytime you don't have that word anywhere within your first text. 